this video began our drawing that we are utilizing for this particular video. Now this particular drawing a little bit more complex than the standard introductory style drawing however it provides us a really good ability to show you a uh, variety of different drawing scenarios. Typically you'll want to start with the center lines and so to set up your current layer you go to the layer ribbon area and you can see that all of our layers are set up and you typically want to start with the center lines and lay out all the center line positions because center lines basically drive your drawing so the positions of all the holes and entities are typically based on a center line location so laying out the if initial first two center lines and then using the offset tool very very productive but since our current drawing does not have any center lines associated with it we'll start with our object lines so now we're on the object layer you'll notice that it automatically shows up as a thicker line type and we're going to begin our drawing and we're going to use a variety of different drawing methods to accomplish it the first one we're going to use is called point and shoot we're going to go ahead and choose line and I'm going to pick a point out here in space remember it you don't have to start at zero zero so I pick a point we're gonna shoot it towards the right and that total distance that we're going to shoot is 6.50 inches so I type it in and hit enter okay it didn't go as far as you expected did it it's because we were magnified out if you use the wheel on your mouse you can double click real fast and that'll magnify all oh we're in the middle of a command it won't do that or you can roll the wheel forwards or backwards and that will magnify and demagnify once we get out of the line command then we can double click on the mouse wheel and that will magnify uh, zoom all or magnify all if I press and hold the wheel I can move the object on the screen that's called panning so I can hold the wheel down and I get a pan um, and if I roll the wheel it'll magnify demagnify so our second line is a vertical line so it's straight up and that particular distance is 2.25 okay so now we've got the first two lines created and now we've come up to our first problem I don't know what the angle is I think I can make it look good but it's not realistic to do that so here's how to solve the problem when you don't know the angle there's two different ways to do this the first way is the construction method which is the way I'm going to show you here and then I'll show you the second method which is called chamfer um, which puts an angled surface on an object it's a command so here's the first method we know that the distance that I need to go vertical is 2.50 so if I point vertically 2.50 and hit the enter key I'll draw an additional line I can come back over and draw a horizontal line across the top also at 2.50 and what that will do is that will give me the position of the angle that I need to locate to draw the line that's the hypotenuse of the triangle basically the angled line so notice where I'm at I've got a green box which is an endpoint so that's the endpoint of the 2.50 vertical line that I can attach to so what I've done is I've created some construction geometry to create the angle so how do I stop this line there's two ways the easy way is hitting the escape key on your keyboard the almost as easy way is by right mouse clicking and choose enter or cancel either way it'll stop that line if I pick a line 
you'll notice that it shows me that that's the segment that I created. Do I really need that segment? No. If I pick it singularly, just go up and pick it, I get the, what are known as grip boxes. That means it's been selected. If I hit the delete key while the grip boxes are there, it goes away. I could also pick it and right mouse click and choose erase. Right mouse clicking brings up all the options that you have for at any one point. So if I choose erase, we're good to go. If I right mouse click right now, these are the options that I have available to me right now. So the right mouse clicking does make a difference or it does help us create a drawing. Oh, and one of the nice things about right mouse clicking when you're not in any command, you could actually use it to start one of the commands that you previously did. So now I need to draw another line. But this time I'm going to show you how to use a command called chamfer. So this time we're going to draw a four inch line and we're going to come down let's see here four another four inches or let's just connect to the bottom instead of just coming down four inches and leaving a little line we'll just connect to the bottom how do we stop the line escape right mouse click enter or cancel either way So all I did was square off this edge, okay, to produce a right angle. The command that I'm looking for is called chamfer. You'll notice that under modify, I don't see it, but it's here. It's actually under the fillet option. Under the fillet option, which produces a round edge, we have the chamfer, which produces an angled edge. Now the chamfer command has a start at the bottom. Now I'm looking bet now down at the very bottom of the command prompt that our distances are both zero zero. So if I've got a chamfer of zero zero, what is that going to do? That's going to produce a right angle. Well, that's not going to help me yet. But you'll also notice directly under that it says select first line or in brackets, undo, polyline, distance, angle, trim, method, multiple. If I was going to do multiple, I would type what letter? The capital letter. So it would be M. As opposed to method, which has a capital E. So the capital letter is the letter I would type for the option that I would like to choose. Or, I could right mouse click. So I need to input the two distances. Or if I choose angle, and I knew the distance and the angle that I needed, I could do the same. So I'm going to choose two distances. The first distance that I need to type in is 4.0. The second distance, amazingly enough, is 4.0. That's a 45 degree angle again. So when I select my first line, the first line corresponds to the first distance I typed. Does it matter which one it is on this drawing? No, because it's a 45 degree angle. But typically the first line that I select is the first distance that I input, and that's typically the horizontal. Get into the process of using the horizontal as your first input. That way when you naturally do it, it's already there. So I'll select the two lines. You can see how it pops up and shows me what the angle looks like. That looks awesome. And notice that now I don't have to use that erase command. I could have easily drawn in the construction lines and drew in the hypotenuse angle and we would be fine. But we now have created the basic structure of our drawing. This would be a good time to save. I hit the save button up top and I got a dialog box. Locate the save drawing where you can retrieve it again. So I've got it under my student subdirectory. Give it a name that makes that has some meaning associated with it. Drawing one means nothing because guess what? The next drawing that you start 
when you start AutoCAD is back to drawing one again. So you definitely want to come create a unique name. So I'm going to go 1-17, which was the problem number on our drawing. And I'll hit save. One of the things that you could also do is do a save as. And that would give you the ability to change the name or change the file type if you need to save it in a, as an earlier release prior to 2010 and so forth. You could use a save as. We now need to detail the inside uh, shape. And the easiest way to do that is using a tool called Offset. And this gets messy because we're going to offset and we're going to trim. It's going to be messy, but it's going to be accurate. That's the advantage. The offset tool is a tool that allows us to create a drawing or copy a drawing entity at a preset distance. You'll find the Offset tool right here on the Modify menu. I'll select Offset, and at the very bottom, it will ask me for a distance, what the offset distance is. Well, I know that this offset distance from the bottom line up to our figure is 0.75, so I'll type that in, 0.75, and hit the Enter key. So all I did now is tell it, I'm going to copy an entity at three quarters of an inch. And that entity is going to be the bottom line. And where does that bottom line need to go? I need to pick a point somewhere above it. Because if I pick a point below it, it's going to copy it below. I want to copy it above. Bingo. There it is. It automatically copied that value. We need to do another offset which means that I can right mouse click and end the command by choosing enter or cancel and if I right mouse click again I can repeat that offset command I don't have to go up to the top and pick it again so right mouse clicking to stop it and then right mouse clicking will allow you to start the last command so the next offset distance is this vertical line I need to offset this to the left 1.25 inches. So I'll type in 1.25. We'll pick the line, we'll pick a point to the left, and guess what? I need to offset it a second time because the offset distance that I need is 1.25 to the left again. So now I've got a little bit of a structure started. I'm going to right mouse click, choose cancel, right mouse click, repeat the offset. I'm going to start again with the horizontal line and this time we're going to start to make our shape. We're going to offset up 0.5. And I know I'm jumping around from the vertical to the horizontal and I could do all the horizontal offsets and then all the vertical offsets. But I'm trying to create part of the shape. I need to offset this distance up one inch. Well, I just did this at a half. So if I did this at a half and this one more, I know that this line here would be at one inch and then I need to offset this up an extra half. I also know that I don't need this line here because remember we said that ooh, I take it back. I mismeasured. It's one inch from this line. So we have this one, that's one inch, that's a half. I don't need this last one. Perfect.